Now we're hitting the road. Whoa! That was God going. So that was, that was, hey, man! No, that was cool. That was cool. It was you cool. Made so we get out on the road. Now we're doing gigs. We're starting to straighten our lives up. We just destroyed everything. We've hurt everybody. You just, just conquered. You just conquered the world. The world yeah, ten times doing. over. We went from starving and begging and not paying our rent for seven ah. and a half years to now all of a sudden it's overboard. And we're taking care of a lot of people. And we got our families that we're taking care of. We, we, we have houses out in Malibu for five years. I rent. Sam, Sam bought. I rent. I was the only thousandaire out there. <laughs> you know? Bro. So you're meeting all these people, you're meeting all your heroes, all that stuff, and it just never stops. And you have to force yourself to get away from it because it's crazy. And in the midst of all that, Sam got so far out that we had a little talk. I went, man, don't die of drugs. Don't die of drugs because you're going to make me look like an ass. I'm going to be left behind. And they're going to go, why you, why'd you guys such great friends when you're friends? He's just a Belushi. He's just out of control. And he wasn't. That, dude, that wasn't who he was, you know. And so all those times when you're down and you're about to give up, that was the friend of mine that came and gave me that pep talk. Wow. Just as in him, when he was ready to give up and walk, I wouldn't let him. That was the promise. So I told him, I said, you're going to die from this stuff. Don't let it take you. Don't let these demons control you. You control it. He goes, yeah, you're right. Starts to straighten up his life. Then he makes a responsibility. He marries his his girlfriend, who is right. just abused. Right. He goes to Hawaii, comes back. They call me up. They go, listen, we're going to drive to Laughlin. First time we're going to do Laughlin, California. It's like a Vegas, you know. We're going to drive there because Sam's got this car. There's 180. He wants to drive that. We rent a van, put all the stuff in, our guitars and stuff, and we're driving behind him. We're on this road. It's going out two and a half hour drive or so far. We hit this section. It's just two lanes. And there's just a vibe. And it was one of those things that calmed me down. I laid down the back seat of a van. I got Bill Kennison driving and our bodyguard in the right seat, uh, front seat. And I lay down the back, and Sam's in front. And we're driving, and I hear, as I start to doze off, watch him, Sam, watch him. That guy's not going to say, watch him, Sam, watch Bam! No brakes. Just the harsh impact of a really hard hit. And then, you know, if you, I don't know if you've ever been through near death or if you've ever been in a car accident where a thing turns slow. Or really good pot. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. One of those yeah. things where you, I know the moment you know, you're what I'm, you know about. that moment where know everything just slows yeah. down. It's such reality that it, it slows down into a. Uh, I open the door, side door of the van, and I looked out, and the car had steam coming from it, and there was a big pickup with three window indentations where the three kids had hit the windshield of their truck that had hit Sam. And I just saw the back of Sam's car, and I saw the front was crushed up, and there was smoke coming out of it. And then the cars, that it's a two-lane road, and the cars that were behind the van were slowly going by looking at this accident. There was nowhere for Sam to go. If he would have pulled off to the right, he would have gone into a 50-foot ditch. There was really nowhere for him to go. But later we found out the car was doing 80, trying to pass a bunch of cars, going to a party, and Sam was doing 20 by the time he got hit. No seatbelts. I got up to the car. He was laid across the back, and he was going, I don't want to die. I don't want to die right now. I don't want to die. And I said, Sam, oh, man. And boom, I get splashed with beer. And I turn around, there's beer cans all over the freeway. And cars are slowly driving by, and they're popping these cans that are rolling on the road. And I go, get those cans out of the way. And when I turned around, Sam had fell out of the car onto me. And I fell on my ass, and he laid across my arms and legs. And he was looking up. And he just had a small cut on his forehead and a little bit of blood on his nose. You know, nothing heavy. And I said, Sam, he goes, I don't want to die now. Why now? I go, Sam, you're not, and I realized he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to somebody that he saw over there. And me and Sam have had so many experiences. We used to do peyote. We used to do mushrooms. All those things when we were young guys trying to experience ourselves and, and dig into a deeper self. Yeah. And, I, and I saw, I knew the moment, I felt the moment that he wasn't in his body, that he was starting to leave his body because we had done that plenty of times. We had a trip once where we got so far out, we saw ourselves laying on the ground. And we went, we got to remember our names and that we want to come back. That's how high we were. <laughs> you right? Jealous. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jealous. So we're God, so write it down, far, write it down. Yeah, we're so far out there that we I realize this moment's really powerful. And it's a decision making moment. And I've held other people that have died and I saw the decision. And he went, Why now? Oh. Okay. 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 And he went. So wow. somebody said something to him that was so cool. He was fighting to stay here. He didn't want to go. And somebody said something to him. And it dawned on him, yeah, you're right. And he went. So I tell people, you know, 
I've had other people in my life too. And if there's a guy that was going to come back, because it wasn't good, it was definitely going to be Kennison. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if heaven wasn't good, <laughs> yeah, he'd be the guy going, nah, it ain't worth it, man. It's cool for two days, but no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Call the phone. Yeah. We'll be right back. Wow. 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 Makes you stronger to live like this, brother. Thank you, You Carl. got it, brother. You we'll, got it. We'll be right back.